Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Shruti from Informatica GCS and in this video we are going to discuss about how to update or how to upload the DQ root scores in Axon. So before moving further, let's see the agenda for today's video. As we all know that this is the second part of REST APIs in Axon. So first we will just have a quick recap of part one because whatever we have discussed there in part one some of those things are required for this part or this video also so we will just take a summary of the last part thereafter we will see how to update dq scores or how to upload dq scores using rest api calls so in part one we have discussed about the basic structure of REST API calls in Exxon is first we have to get the JWT token and thereafter we can use that JWT token for the further calls. So if you want to see how to get that JWT token, please refer to the part one of this video. There I have explained how to use REST API calls to get JWT token from Exxon. And once you will have the JWT token, then you can proceed further for our next part that is how to update DQ scores using REST API calls. So now let's move towards our Postman REST API client. So this is our REST API client. That is the Postman client. So we have to make a new call. And for uploading the reports to the Exxon, we have to make a call of type post. Then we have to enter the URL here. It, which will be the host name of your Exxon instance followed by port number then API v1 then DQ DQ score report then authorization we have to make sure that it is set to no auth Thereafter, under the headers, we have to provide content type as application JSON, then the authorization. Here, we have to first type bearer space and then the JWT token, whatever we have received earlier. So, I will copy that token value and then in the body we have to provide the score whatever we want to upload as well as the dq rule reference what for which we want to upload the report so these are all the fields that we have to provide here so let's see what all values we have to provide here so Format for this will be like this and make sure that the uh, allowed format is JSON only that is the text format is JSON though there are several options available but we have to select this JSON type only so first thing is execution time at this time should be in format year then followed by month and then date thereafter whatever score you want to upload and then the total row count will be the total number of rows present for that particular attribute then whatever is the exception or the exceptional rows number of rows where you have noticed the exception and thereafter under this identity we have to provide the reference number of the dq root for which you want to upload the report and then the dq report provider you can keep it as idq or whatever you like so let's start giving the values here. And let's say I will provide a score as 75. Exception count as 302. Now identity will be later. And then the DQ report provider IDQ row count will be number 450. 
okay so for identity i have to refer my exxon instance so let's go to my exxon so this is my exxon instance let's say i want to upload report for this particular rule strat 2 so the reference for this particular rule is strat hyphen so let's paste in our postman So these are all the values that we have to provide. Now we just have to click on this send to see the output. So let's click on send. And as you can see the status here is 204 no content. It's showing no content because in response you will not see anything as here you are trying to provide value and that provided value should get uploaded in Exxon. So now let's go to our Exxon instance. We'll check whether our report is get uploaded. So this is our Exxon UI. Let's refresh the page. So this was this was our rule strat two, and I have opened this particular rule, and then we will just go to this tab report, and here as you can see that there is score whatever we have provided so i have earlier also sent the same report using the same date that's why we are having the two entries here but as you can see the id for both the entries is different and whatever values we have provided there are present here so that is about all how we can upload the details reports in Excel. So in case of any further queries or any suggestions or feedback regarding this video, please contact us using these links. Thank you for watching the video.